good morning. My name is Will Vandenberg. I'm a biomedical engineer with BTS. Um, and today we'll be going over our uh, portable system for functional assessment of movement. Um, it's called the G-Walk. So before starting, I'd like to briefly um, introduce BTS. BTS is an Italian company that has been around for over 30 years, um, providing uh, motion analysis systems. So starting in 1986, we've developed many innovative technology, including 3D motion capture cameras, force plates, and surface electromyography. Um, our goal at BTS, though, is to not only provide technologies, it's to provide solutions that are clinically focused and easy to use. So the G-Walk is a portable motion analysis system for functional movement assessment. It provides quantitative data for this assessment of movement. And from a technical point of view, the G-Walk is an inertial sensor that includes triaxial accelerometers, gyroscopes, and magnetometers, as well as advanced software algorithms to assess movement. Um, it's quite small in size. It's only measures about 70 millimeters by 40 millimeters by 18 millimeters and weighs only 37 grams. Uh, the GWALK system can perform and analyze six different commonly used clinical tests. First is the walk for gait analysis, the timed up and go for balance, mobility, and risk of fall assessment, the six minute walking test um, to measure a patient's functional capacity, uh, the turn test, to, which is used for neurodegenerative diseases, and the jump and run tests for athletic assessment. It's easy to perform these tests in just a few minutes. Um, so as you can see, we'll see during the test, uh, during this presentation, how you can do that. Um, so to perform the test, you would first insert the G sensor into the belt, which is placed on the back of the patient. You would then connect the G sensor to the computer via Bluetooth and then select the desired protocol and perform the test to generate the automatic uh, clinical report. So as you can see, it's a simple process to use the system. Um, so it doesn't require any dedicated staff or resources and also doesn't require any dedicated space. So you can use it in a laboratory or a clinical setting or even in a hallway. But the question is, why should you perform this instrumented quantitative evaluation using the G-Walk? Well, as Lord Kelvin said, um, if you cannot measure something, you cannot improve it. We are in the age of quantitative data, and especially in clinical fields, it's imperative to measure quantifiably the functional limitations and improvements of your patients. With the G-Walk, you can assess a patient at admission and dismissal, perform follow-up therapy by evaluating the patient before and after the prescribed therapy, choose the best orthopedic aid for your patient by, for example, performing a walk analysis before and after with two different orthotics, and then um, choosing the orthotic that provides the best outcome for your patient and perform a first screening of the patient's degree of functional limitation. The G-Walk in return provides reproducible data that's quantitative and objective, more accurate assessments, and more information about each test. So the easiest way to understand how powerful and accurate this device is, is to perform one of these tests. So today we'll go over the timed up and go test, which is a mobility and balance test that's used to evaluate balance and functional mobility and the fall risk of subjects. So the test is performed by having the patient start in a seated position. They stand up, walk three meters, turn around, walk back to their seat and sit down again. Typically, 
the test only evaluates the total time to complete the entire movement by using a stopwatch. But with the GWALK, the users can quantify this timed up and go test, providing additional information about each subphase, the duration of the subphases, as well as accelerations, angular velocities, and trunk angles throughout the test. So let's start by taking a look at the acquisition software for the GWALK, which is called GStudio. So as you can see, in the top left, there are three icons that manage your patient database. You can add a new patient, edit a patient, or delete a patient. This next button allows you to add a new analysis for an existing patient. And then the three buttons on the right side manage your sensor. So it allows you to connect or disconnect the Bluetooth connection and then see the battery level of the sensor. On the left side, you can see a list of all of your patients. And by selecting one of them, you can see the, all of the tests that you have performed on that patient, as well as the date that you have performed them. On the right side, you can see a list of all of the protocols that are available for you to choose. So next we will go ahead and perform a test on a patient that we have here. So first you will connect the G sensor, place it in the belt, then we'll perform, uh, prepare the subject by placing the sensor around the patient's waist placing it on the back. We will then have the patient sit down in the chair and you'll explain how to perform the test to the patient. We will then in the software, select the test that we will be performing. Now, as you can see in the acquisition screen, on the left side, there's a description of the sensor placement and brief description of how to perform the test. We will now click start to begin the recording. After a brief moment of uh, calibrating the position, sensor, position the subject will perform the test. Once they return to the seat, we'll click stop and save. And as soon as you save, the data automatically is added to this clinical report, which is generated. So as you can see, the total time is provided of the, of the test. And this is typically the only information that is provided. But in addition, we get all of this other information. For example, the duration of each subphase of the test, and even information about whether different subphases overlapped or if there was a moment where they were standing still before beginning their gait. In addition, we also have all of the accelerations of the sit to stand and stand to sit phase, and also the uh, rotational speeds of mid-turning and end-turning. Finally, the test provides the trunk flexion extension angles during the sit to stand and stand to sit to describe the biomechanical strategies of the patient. So the question is back to the question of why do you need the GWALK? Well, it improves the quality of your assessment because it provides quantitative data instead of just relying on qualitative data. It satisfies and motivates the patient. Patients enjoy seeing these clinical reports and seeing how they're improving over time. It's easy to use and intuitive, which means it doesn't require a long training period. It improves the image of your organization because you'll be using quantitative data for your clinical decisions and also using top of the line technology. It does not change your daily procedures because 
the tests are commonly performed already in clinics. It also does not require additional staff or a dedicated environment, so it only saves time. So the question really isn't why do you need the GWALK, it's why not. 